Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy E CEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding, most grateful. Hmm. Mr. Maker, what's going on? Man, I got a guy here today, y'all. When I first met this guy, man, I was fishing for face on love. We put on <laughs> our boss talk club. shirt. We put our boss talk shirts on me and my wife. We said we going over here and get this nigga, man. Yeah. And we went over there, man, and boomed. Right. And then what they call it on stage. And what they call yeah, it on stage. I, I nose died when I got there. And uh, shout out to that, uh, what's that boy name? Uh, 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 what? BJ the Bonnet, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Shout yeah. out to uh, not she only him, Melvin, Melvin Farmer. Farmer. Yeah, yeah, man. Thank Respect. God, man. But this guy right here, though. Yeah, man. Stomp down. Yeah. My boy show in the building. I'm here, man. man. It took a minute, but I'm here. Man. <laughs> hey, this, they, they don't understand, man, how we get down, man. man. You know, Listen, man. It's for everybody to understand. Though. Man, it got to be in you, not on you. Nah, you know real. what I'm saying? I just know for when real. I met you, it was solid. You know what I'm saying? I knew. I knew the real. Man, that's one thing I go off. You know how I tell you. It's certain niggas I get around I'm like, that nigga real. Yeah. That nigga ain't real. Yeah. Called real recognized real. Yeah, right, right, <laughs> and right. the energy be right. Right. And you know that night I ain't even talking to nobody else. You was trying to talk, talk to whoever. I was like, man, that I nigga I spoke right. to him a little yeah. bit too in the front. Yeah, yeah. but I met, you, I met the nigga on the move. Who yeah. met you first? He did. He did. <laughs> on the move? <laughs> yeah, he met me first. And I, and, yeah, and, yeah. and I, and I, cause he looked, he looked like somebody. Mm -hmm. He looked presentable. I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah, and that. I was like, this nigga gotta be dealing with this nigga cause he a real nigga. Like I can look at this nigga and tell. Right. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you can that. tell, man. Yeah, I appreciate So that. when I approach you, I'm like, man, that was, he, he was like, yeah, man, I'm trying to link you in, man. No hesitation. Yeah. And then went straight and did what he said he was going to do. Went and talked and everything. So, man, thank you so much, no man. No problem, man. Real no stuff down. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, yeah. and we talking about phase on Love, man, yeah. who... Yeah. He be on my show a lot. Only been on once. This, <laughs> <laughs> they speak on bro a lot. Hey, they, God, they, but this nigga, this nigga had me going, bro. Yeah, they like, speak on him a lot. He don't know how much man I cut for it, man. Like when we went down there and just we linked again, uh -huh. like just cut for the nigga, man. Just the way that God blessed me with that dude, man. Right, right, right. For him to come on this platform like that, man, and then for us to do a show like we did, yeah, was crazy. Yeah, and you was here that day. I was there that and, day. And, and, and I played the back. You, you know didn't what I'm really think that what we were doing was it gonna do whatever. What, what did you think? Um, I thought that I, I'm playing my position. You know what I'm saying? That's what I thought. You know, um. You got to know when it's your time and when it ain't. And you got to be able to support your team. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if it's his turn to shoot the ball, then, you know, I'm going to wait for the rebound if that's what, it, that's what it called for. So, I was just here playing my position, you know what I'm saying, like I was supposed to that day. I wasn't really thinking about nothing else other than making sure he was straight. That's it. I wasn't thinking about it. Wow. Anything. Like, and, and I seen that, and I gave you hell about it that day, too. I was yeah. yelling like hell. You know, the police came up here that day. You yeah. don't remember that. You remember that? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> what nigga you know don't notice when the police come around? <laughs> <laughs> Police came up here that day, boy. I was laughing. Boy. I said, "Man, these niggas think I'm crazy." Yeah, hell, yeah. Because we I started looking like no, a look like a sinner. No, like, man. Like. I just like <laughs> them people been shopping. This store been here 15 years, so yeah. them people been shopping here and being here. They family been here, man. Uh -huh. They people, kids, man. They black, bro. Uh, yeah. They are people, really. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta make sure that you. This is a constructive business. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. The the fire truck done stop right out there, and all of them done came in here and brought their kids and their wife. Miss me, jeans. Yeah, the something. police just happened to show up on the day we were coming. No, 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 <laughs> no, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Give me not a hands up, man. Man. Not Give me a hands up. Go ahead, you, know what, you know what? They you come know? in to check on us. They yeah, want to make good, sure that though. we good. That's good. Because they know that we be doing interviews and they don't know what might ever happen. So one thing you tell everybody, you come in here, you safe. You right. ain't got to worry about nothing. <laughs> hey, you got that shit right. <laughs> Damn, so I was safe, but let a nigga know so we can get rid of the weed and the guns and all the bullshit. <laughs> 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 no Jeez, man, I man. enjoyed you that day, man. So nah, after that, real. me and you met a couple more times. But you right. went down to Atlanta, and you was I. I know you had been in the music, and my wife probably for to go down through there on mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. and and I know she is. Mm -hmm. She gonna want to know who you are, man. So right. let's talk about that. Yeah, part, man. I want to know 
show before show because the um no no what's your what's, what's your real name again <laughs> justin justin yeah 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 white boy justin white name. boy justin <laughs> man you know what I'm saying? your mama gave you a white name yeah i'm probably about the blackest justin you gonna find <laughs> the most niggas justin you gonna find you know what i'm saying yeah. did you get teased about that name growing up nah because really? nobody never really called me by my real name so you've had a name show ever since nah, how old? i had another uh nickname <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't just be saying they nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like it. She called it. Come here, uh, uh, Pookie. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I oh, Mama gave name. you that name. Yeah, who gave you that nickname? My first, your first nickname. My first nickname. My my aunt did. Um, uh-huh. my first nickname was Dusty. 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 Yeah. Because when I had because hair, you brown, yeah, when I had hair. It was uh, dusty red. It looked like I was. She said it looked like I had been playing down a dusty yeah. dirt road, and everybody <laughs> like, that dusty. I know that color. Yeah, She's so. on him. So. That was that was my first, you know, what I'm saying little nickname. But you know, little dusty been gone for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about you. you know where you saying? from originally? Let's right. get to I'm, it. I'm originally from North Louisiana, man. When you go past Shreveport, that's me. I lived all over that sh- motherfucker. Nah, I'm talking about from Arcadia, Ruston, Monroe, oh, all, this, that. This, all that shit past Shreveport. You go down there and say my name. They gonna know. They gonna How know. How old were you when you left down there? I left uh, Louisiana when I was 22. Okay, 22, so I you think. really made your name down there. Yeah, 22, 22 when I left. But I was already coming to Dallas doing music before I moved here. Were you raised with your mom and dad? I was raised with both of my parents. You Dope. lucky. Lie. Yeah, I was raised with both of my that's parents. Ra- and let's, that's let's, rare. Let's, let's, let's speak on that for that's a second. Rare. I really want to talk about that for a second. We let always me, ask that, that, that does not happen. Well, for me growing up, that was a norm. Right. Okay? Right. But since I've been here and I've seen so many people sit in that seat. Mm. Oh, no, it was always raised by my mom. My dad was either Rolling Stone or mm. he was over here. He still was, you know, in my life, but mm. they just weren't together. And yeah. I'm like, there's too many relationships nowadays that people give up on, yeah. you know, to raise their family separate. If, there, if it's abuse and all of that, then, yeah, definitely, you know, do your thing. But if it's not abuse, work it out. Um, I got a strong mama. Mm. You did what I'm saying? Um, my daddy was a man for real and he still is you know what I'm saying and um my mama just said that she wasn't gonna she wasn't gonna let nobody else stand over her kids you feel me so uh yeah fortunately I was I was raised with both of my parents how many and, how many of y'all uh it's five of us by but, your mom but my and mom dad. is three but my dad has five kids so he had saying? two before right. he met her right okay he just got check two it. kids yeah, yeah, yeah okay but um we got to stop that, too, feeling like just because, you know, I be seeing the narrative put out there that, you know, oh, well, you know, he had both of his parents. Man, some niggas out here with both of their parents will beat your ass, no one of them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, straight up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because my mama ain't teach me how to fight. My daddy did. I'll fuck you up immediately. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So... I just want to make sure that we, you know, we get that known. <laughs> yeah, don't think had, it's just, weak. Yeah, just, just cause your mama raised you don't make you no tougher than a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, they just do. like people be thinking just cause somebody white that they're a hoe. White boy beat your ass. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you beat right nigga one. YouTube, you quick. You did what I'm yeah. saying? Like, so you can't prejudge, you know, somebody. They upbringing and think, oh, well, that make him more real or less real. Or, man, I know some niggas that grew up in the country, and I know some niggas that grew up in the suburbs that'll beat your ass. Yeah, no, that's You know that's what real. I'm saying? Like, straight up. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I'm fortunate enough that I had both of my parents. My mom was an educator, and my dad was an entrepreneur. You see, you the main, main reason why I normally always ask that question, too, is because I see a lot of, because me being a parent and having kids, especially mm-hmm. boys, mm-hmm. I, I always be like, okay, for a boy to have a mom and dad in the household, raised in a great, good community, you know, didn't have no need. I see so many people sit right here and say they still end up on the street selling drugs, doing this, doing yeah. that. And I I'm like, too. and I'm like, how? Why? You well, didn't see, need for nothing. So why did you have to go the out thing, there and do the that? Thing, here's the thing with that. You know what I'm saying? And um, my mom's side of the family, no disrespect to them. You know what I'm saying? But my mom's side of the family was... Uh, a little maybe less fortunate than my dad's side. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I experienced more street shit 
when I was doing shit with my mama mm. cousins, my mama side cousins. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's a word. Like, right. You got daddy right. side cousins yeah. mama and side mama cousins. side cousins. You know you. what I'm saying? When yeah. I was fucking with my mama side cousins, we were doing, you know, streets, street yeah, shit. Yeah, you street. know what I'm saying? And yeah. then, you know, so it really helped because uh, it allowed me to kind of be more of a comedian too because, you know, my dad, like I said, was an entrepreneur. So I, I seen though, you got to understand, this a black man in a in a relatively small town, uh, so he went through the, the hate and jealousy of that too to try to create a business for himself and work for himself. You know what I'm saying? That that ain't easy to do even in today's time. So imagine, you know what I'm saying? I was born in '83. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? So uh, it wasn't easy for him to do that. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, it wasn't that it was even more sweet on that side because it was hard. It was hard. You know what I'm saying? It's always been hard for our people anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No matter what the case may be. But it, it wasn't just easy for him either. But uh, the structure from having my father around, you know, uh, I used to see my homeboys and feel like if they didn't have a father, they lacked that shit. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? In ways. And if they didn't have a mom, they lacked that compassion and shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was blessed enough, you know, to uh, be able to feel sorry for you and know when it's time to fuck you up, too. <laughs> so, yeah. So, do you, <laughs> do, when you when you came to Dallas, you, you you got into the music, right? I was in the music way before then. But you know when you saying? came, you got deep in it. Did you come to Dallas and say, I'm going to further my career in the music? Or you, what was Why the whole come? intention of coming to Dallas? Right. Uh, Well, yeah, I, the guy, you know what I'm saying, that I was doing the music with, he lived in Dallas. Okay. No, he came so, for a girl. You know what really? I'm saying? Nah, I didn't. I actually, you came, no I, actually, I actually came out here with my baby mom. Now, the shit didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Once I got here, that shit fell apart. You but know at least you saying? tried. I tried, though. You know, How many, I gave was that good, your first child you had with her? Yeah. My How many first kids son, you got? I got three. Three. Okay. Yeah, my first son, you know what I'm saying, with my son, my, we came out here together, actually. Mm. And you know, after about a year, that shit didn't work out. But you know, I still fuck with Salute. Them. Cool, yeah, for sure. Always, I ain't, I ain't you know, we good. Cool. You know what I'm saying we co-parents as well, though. That's you know what I'm how saying. Old so you, how old is he? He, he? Nineteen. Oh, so he's out of there. Yeah, he, he out of there. So he doesn't live with her. Nah, he he lived with me when he when we when we went our separate ways. I think he was like five, mm-hmm. and then he went and lived with his mom. And then I always told her, like, we was cool. Like I said, co-parenting was cool. And I was like, look, by the time he get to be, like, high school, you need to send him to me. Because once he feel I like he's stronger than you and shit, you know what I'm saying, he need to be with somebody who he ain't stronger than because he ain't really going to listen to you. That's right. Because by the time I got older, you know, my, my mama threats didn't mean shit to me. No. You know what I'm saying? It was, you know, my 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 dad and, you know, my, my uncles and even my older homeboys. You know, I still, I'm old out, nigga. So I was raised by the neighborhood, you know Already. what I'm saying? For Already. real. So, you know, even even what, because when you're a kid, you don't even see your, your parents as being cool, unfortunately. As cool as we think we is as parents. <laughs> don't I say that a lot? You dig what I'm saying? You That's ain't my cool. favorite thing You know what I'm say. saying? Like, it's, 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 a, it's somebody that they think just cooler than you. It just and is what and it is. And that's the weirdest thing because all of... Your kids' friends think that they your cool. parents are cool. cool as fuck. They right. love your parents cool, but, yeah. But, but your, your kids, kids don't look at you like that because they know they know daddy. You know what I'm saying? They know mama. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they know everything about you. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm a neighborhood. I'm a neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Kid, a product of the neighborhood. I still grew up when you go to Miss Mary House and Miss Mary's still alive. Shout out to Miss Mary. You can still go to Miss Mary House, get something to eat. Get your ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? She's going to tell your mama. She's going to tell your whooping. mama, get another whooping. I would rate like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Let me ask you something, though. The music, man. Let's go. I'm trying to get to this music because I know already that music means something to you. For sure. You, 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 you live and breathe that music, sure. man. So you know the scene of the music and everything. Mm-hmm. So help me understand, um, when, you, when it comes to the music, um, who are you liking now, right now, in these days, like in Dallas? Oh man, you know what? I I've been fucking around in Dallas for so long. You know what I'm saying that I can go all the way back. You know what I'm saying when I first my very first song I did with somebody out of Dallas was Cotton Mouth. He was just on here. Yeah, that's the very first song I did with somebody in Dallas was with with the OG. How did you feel about it? I was excited as hell. You know what I'm saying? I, I really couldn't believe that I was doing a song with him. 
that's how I was at that time because I mean they was doing songs with Cash Money and shit. This was PMC. You know? Yeah, this was in the nineties. He fucking was screwing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me to be on a song with him, man, I I, I thought I had made it, bro. That's how it was wow. back then. You just had that type of respect that for him to even sit down and, and talk to me or you know be willing to do a song with me. You know what I'm saying? I felt like you know. A kid in the candy store. How bro, was the real. process of that though? Like, uh, like yeah, you, you. How did you even link that up? My partner Willie Will, uh, and um, shots out again to you know uh, Mike Grayson that I had uh, ran the label with. Uh, he actually did work with Ron C and Nemesis. You okay, know what I'm saying? Snake and all of. And he did. Uh, he actually uh, produced and recorded a lot of. Um, the Rally Boys okay, shit too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like back when they was working back in the day. So um, when I came through, uh, he was you know, like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You know, boy, dope. And uh, Willie Will had the song with Cotton, you know what I'm saying? And they brought me to the studio and I just rapped. It's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? They put me on it. It was damn. just like that. Back then, it was more. You had to show and prove, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna get on, if you're gonna get on a track with boys, you had to really be. Yeah, you had to be, be something it. special. You know what I'm saying? Back yeah. then, was he? What did? What did? Uh, when Kyle, how long? What was? Was the process long when y'all went to the studio? Mm -mm. And, I was always ready. I knew all my raps before I got to the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you gave me a beat back then when I was on rap like that, shit, man, I could so. do a verse. Like it ain't shit, cause I was. That's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to do nothing else. I asked my mom about a record deal when I was in like first grade. Wow. I always wanted to be an entertainer. Always. You know what I'm saying? So when you when, when you and Cottonmouth y'all uh y'all y'all done the song, mm -hmm. did y'all do a video to it or y'all mm -hmm. y'all mm -hmm. damn? Nah, we didn't do no video to it. But and, but keep in mind, it wasn't my record. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It was, it it was, was his record. It was the homies record. It was really real record. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Cool. And I, I was just happy to be a part of it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you thinking, I'm like, at this time, I'm a teenager at this time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm on a song with somebody who I'm riding, listening to, who I never thought I would meet. Yeah. And it's been like that for me a lot in my life. Like, I just been, you know, right place, right time with the right shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when I seen you had Bobo on here. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bobo, shout out to that boy Bobo. Lucci, I know. My connection with Bobo, you know what I'm saying? I remember the bitch get up off me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I remember listening to that record like, damn, this shit hard. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, to go to uh, the radio station when he had the radio show and they did the the Pump It or Dump It, I think it was, it's Slamming the Jam, you know, yeah, they yeah, stuff yeah. like that. And my record won the, uh, the Pump It or Dump It. And if you won, you got to come up there and do an interview. And I ended up doing the intro for um, the the shit and everything. Really? So my relationship go back with him like that, which is the he's Leo connection. You know what I'm saying? Wow. All of that. It's like, it's just a big, so big pot. You did the intro for Bobo and them show? For his radio show. So yeah. so uh, super tight. You know, he started his own podcast. You didn't know that, did you? I didn't know that. You got to go on there, I man. got to go on there. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, there. yeah. That's my boy, man. Go we, talk, we talk daily, actually. I probably call him tonight. Man. He, hey. he, it's nice, too. You're going to like it. The OG I, I got to get you on there. He know. He I'm going to tell him. You, you know got to get show over he there, know. baby. He know. He going to do it. And he know. You know, when I when I said it, it is what it is. I ain't scared. I said what I said. So back then, your name was still show? My name was show back then. Okay, yeah. just checking because I didn't know exactly when did you change it. Oh, uh, show came early on. With the like, rap? Yeah, with the rap. Who you gave know, you that um, name? Who gave me the name? Mm -hmm. It was self proclaimed I okay. did everything like, you know, it was for TV like everybody was Why watching. Why the name show? Because of that? Because of that. Music. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing changed. You know what I'm saying? When I do something, I do it like I'm doing it for everybody. Already. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what that's the that's the attitude I took into it. When I do some shit, even to this day, I'm doing it like everybody watching. Cause they supposed to. If you got talent, you gotta think that the people gonna watch you. You know what I'm saying? Or even if you just got it. Like some niggas just got it. I always feel like I had it, you know what I'm saying. So it, it wasn't no other, it wasn't yeah. no other name. For what me. about your project? Uh, did you um, the first project that you you put out? First project 
What about it? What you want to know about it? I want to know about it. What it, what it was? It what was it? the hottest shit at that time. You know what I'm saying? What's the name of it? You know what I'm saying? It was called it was called the main event. But okay. my very, very first mixtape? Or you talking about like actual project? Actual project. Yeah, it was called the main event. And uh, I'm going to tell you how that came about. Um, I had a homeboy. And he was trying to get me on the radio. You know what I'm saying? This this was a long process. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For me, you know, like I say, this this big homie shit, I earned this shit. Yeah. This ain't no shit I just came up with. You know what I'm saying? Like, this was a long process for me, bro. So I had a homeboy, and he was trying to get me on. He, he really was. And he took me up to the radio station one day in Monroe. And uh, we went up there, and he was just telling him, like, man, y'all got to y'all gotta hit his cat. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to hit his cat. And they was like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Well, we got a box in there, you know what I'm saying? Every now and then we play, C, you know, CDs, and if we hear something we like, we'll call you back. Like, just put your CD in the box, you know what I'm saying? So I went back there, and it's just a box box. Oh, this no. goddamn towel uh -uh. full of CDs, you know what I'm saying? You're so like, as nah. arrogant as I am right. as a teenager, I come back in and say, man, why I can't just rap right now? And you tell me whether you feeling me or not. That way, I ain't got to waste no time calling back up here. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't got to waste your time trying to figure out a lot of why you ain't listening to my music. Straight <laughs> like that. Like, for real. And mm -hmm. what he said? Hey, like, you just going to rap right now? I'm like, yeah. Well, did you freestyle or something? Nigga said rap. I, you couldn't tell. No, so I'm asking you, what raps, did you do? Did you I just freestyle? started rapping at that time. I just started going off. You know what I'm saying? Like, going off. Verse for verse for verse for verse for verse. And as I started rapping, more and more people coming in the room like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Big Rail, Jigga JT, Grey Digger, you know what I'm saying, was at, at the radio station in Monroe at that time. You know what I'm saying? And my homeboy said, man, rap that one song you got. I started rapping that motherfucker. And they said, you got that on that CD right there? <laughs> I said, yeah. And they said, man, let me, let, me, let me hear it. They put it on, they played it on the live speakers, they were listening to it. And they say, JT say, Hey, give him some headphones. I'm finna put them on right now. Damn. Oh. But they weren't right doing now. that. They weren't doing that. At that time, you weren't getting on like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You weren't getting on like you that. You made bro. an impression. Made a very good impression. Came in the room and did exactly what I was planning on to do. Yeah. I'm finna show you that can't nobody. Kill them boys, man. You know what I'm saying? And from there, I went to Grambling. You know, so I went to grab That's what school. That's what yeah. show should stand for. I can show you better than, than I, I can tell. tell. Nah, for real. <laughs> That's for real. It. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I ain't had you know the money at the time. Like how niggas was, you know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to say that, but how niggas was paying to get on the radio and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I went, you know, I went. I ain't have it like that at the time. And I told them I was like, man, um. They, they used to do, that was back when you could rap on the radio. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You could battle on the radio. Yeah. And I said, check this out, bro. I said, man, I heard y'all got this battle, you know what I'm saying, on the radio. Mm -hmm, I said, mm -hmm. man, how about if I call up here and I win, as long as I win, y'all play my record. He said, cool. I called that Friday night, six months straight. Mm. They had to retire me. I was, dead I, was about to, like that. <laughs> I was about that to ask you not to like the throne, but you said good. that they retired you. You must be really be flowing like that, man. They retired me. I started doing commercials and shit for everybody, all the, you know what I'm saying, for the radio station. And then I started opening up for people. That's how I met George Lopez and all the DSO man. boys. That's how I met uh, the Swiss House boys with Mike Jones and all them back in the day. That's how I met, you know what I'm saying, everybody that would come to the radio station or come to the city to perform. That's how I met Baby. What radio Back station was that? 100.1 to beat in Monroe, Louisiana. Louisiana. But that's how I met Baby even back then. I'm riding with Grave, you know what I'm saying? DJ Gray nigga was ah, you know, Baby at that time, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um he would, you know, Monroe Shreveport like this, you know for what I'm sure, saying? For like sure. Houston, Dallas. We just went through there. You did mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when um he would sometimes shoot over to Shreveport to fuck with Jabba Jaws and Bebe. Little nigga right there, man. Yeah. So, you so that's how I met Bebe. You and Bebe still there. got a relationship? Yeah, still to this day. Rock with him. Yeah, rock How with do you him. feel about uh, Dallas and Bebe and how he, um, how he, his persona is in the city? Do you feel like Bebe uh, has done the things that he should do as a uh, uh, personality, a as, a, as a leader? 
here in the Dallas market because he definitely is a leader. He's been put on the gatekeeper list. Right. Uh, he's from Louisiana, but he is in Dallas, Texas, and people know him all across the world. Definitely the United States. How do you feel about how he's stapled himself? I feel like you got to understand, first of all, where we from, to be where he at is, is damn near impossible. First of all, you know what I'm saying? Like, Lose out is just different, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I and don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's certain shit I don't even speak about when it comes to Dallas because I feel like I'm in the house of representatives for the city. You know what I'm saying? You got born bred Dallas niggas, and then you got niggas that represent the city because we live here. You know what I'm saying? So certain issues I don't speak on because I ain't a born bred Dallas nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why I'm holding the D with this Pelican. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I represent the D, but I'm still a I'm a Pelican Louisiana nigga. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what he was able to do transition wise from you know coming from the radio station back there to basically being you know like looked at as or considered to be a DJ Khaled is was really impossible. First of all, mm-hmm. now you got to ask some people that have. Uh, done business with Bebe on another level how they feel about it, yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. with what he done did for them you know what I'm saying as far as me and bro relationship he never had no problems Probably. you know what I'm saying but you know um, do I hear the disgruntles you know what I'm saying you know different people say people different shit that. You know, to be you, honest with you but you got you got some people that's gonna fuck for every 10 niggas that's going to say something bad, you're going to have 20 niggas, niggas that say he right. did something good. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, it depends on who you ask. You go ask. You say you respect me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. I respect you. You for know sure. what I'm saying? I got 100 niggas going to tell you I'm a real nigga. But what I tell you, it ain't one fuck nigga out there that say he don't like me and oh, I ain't yeah, shit they, or whatever. supposed to be out there. You know, they out there. He probably broke and we was bidding on a girl and he lost. He you lost. know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We were bidding on a girl and he lost and he mad. He, mad. he still mad. Yeah. So, you know, and, Every time my name come up, I'm a whole ass nigga. Yeah. I really ain't no whole ass nigga. You just lost. <laughs> you feel so, what I'm saying? So you've been seeing Chief on here, man. Chief, been right. kind of, he's been on here a few times now, and uh, uh, frequents the, the show. Right. And and it was a lot of uh, it was a lot of talk about uh, Chief and what he done in the city for the music. You've been here. You heard the music. Right. Um, how do you feel about that whole? Chief uh, didn't show uh, love to the, uh, the 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 younger dudes, uh, the 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 yellows. It's one dude uh, say that. Matter of fact, it was a uh, Dallas Global. Uh, shout out Terry Blue. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what happened when you speak. Mm-hmm. Uh, he said that uh, um, that basically uh, he kind of you know he kind of shit it on the other the the young young boys right. when when yellow was trapping designer. Right. Do you? Do you, like how do you know Chief and 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 because definitely to me he's a legend. I ain't gonna sure. play with it. Nah, for sure. Nah, but for sure. how do you know him and how did you see him growing up here in the music? Because you definitely got twenty years here. Um, uh, I met Chief. You know, my Chief story is it's got a little spin on it. You know what I'm okay. saying? Um, uh, when I was when I was coming up, and I I, I heard the legend of, of Chief just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and um. I fucked with Corey. Okay. Clout. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's you know my boy. Shout out Corey. No, nah, shout out Corey. You know what I'm saying? My OG brother. You know what I'm saying? No different than, you know, uh, Bruce Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know for sure. Saying? Shout out Bruce Wayne. Shout out for Bruce sure. Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, when I was coming up trying to do my music shit, uh, I heard the legend of Don Chief, just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Big Chief. The nigga riding yeah. around Bentley riding, yeah, you cool. know what I'm saying? Ash Moore riding, painted. you know what I'm saying? Louis Vuitton, yes Sachi, up. yeah, done mm-hmm. chief, you know what I'm saying? And when I finally get to meet Chief, right? <laughs> <laughs> I seen him a few times. I seen him a few times. I mean, I mean, um, we in East Texas with 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 Bone with Bonafide, right? Okay, we in East Texas. I'm I'm. I finally get to meet Don Chief. You know what I'm saying? So I pull up on Chief. I'm excited to meet him because I know who he is. You know what I'm saying? I've heard about him. So I'm excited to meet him. And I come to him as that way. You know what I'm saying? I, I, w- I, didn't, I didn't get greeted. I didn't get embraced like I thought I would. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. By Chief. You know what I'm saying? Wow. It was a letdown. You know what I'm saying? It, it kind of it it hurt a nigga feelings. But, you know, 
I, I'm a young you nigga. I ain't, yeah, I ain't doing no tripping. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so what? Detail that though. What What did he say to you? Did he say anything? He was just like, you know, like I already, you know, little nigga, like you know, he ain't say that. I'm just saying, like he was like I already, but it wasn't like no. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I see yeah, you out here grinding. It wasn't like that. Trying to do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I see you done made it this far, nigga, so yeah. you got to be, you know what I'm saying, doing something, you know, let me let me fuck with you. It was sort of like he gave me the fan love. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, I already, Even though you put a lot of work I'm in, you felt chief. like it you know was an acknowledgement. It was like, I already, you supposed to feel that way, I'm done, chief. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if I'm wrong, that's how, I, that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did you ever see him after that anymore? Yeah, I seen him in the city, but the flip side of that is, you know what I'm saying? Don Cheek was already diamond wearing, like I said, designer moving like he moved, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh, like he still uh -huh. moves to this day, you know what I'm saying? I was a, you know, CD passing out, you know, dingy t-shirt, you know what I'm saying, trying to get it type nigga. So now on the flip side of that, you know what I'm saying, as a grown man who wear design and diamonds and all that fly shit, I can kind of see what he might be kind of skeptical of. He said the same thing. You know what I'm saying? He said like, the same thing. Like, ask Yella now how you feel about what I said that night. Like, when you get on the level. When you get on the level. You understand, bro. You, you ain't even tripping. Yeah, you understand. That's you know real. what I'm saying? That's and, real. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, people, people always feel how they feel on their side. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you got to step back. And see how bro might feel on his side, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And you know he might have been like, man, I don't know. I mean, I know he say he rap, but nigga might be trying to get close to me for you know other, other reasons. reasons. You know Everybody what I'm trying to target at me, and I respect it. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't get mad. It made me want to hustle more, so that's, I could that's so it. I could Motivation. have diamonds in design and feel like that. You know what I'm saying? Feel like that nigga. So you know, so man, that's a hell of a way to answer that question because that's exactly. What you got to do? You got yeah. to come on with it. He probably don't even remember that shit. You know but, what I'm saying? But at the but end yeah. of the day, it happened. Yeah, it happened. That really yeah. happened. I want to talk about something current that just happened. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. You saw you saw what Kanye West did recently. Talking about the, the the fashion show, and he wore a shirt that said that's "White Lives Matter." White Lives Matter. Yeah, I saw that. What do you think about that? Because Boosie went in on him right now. Mm -hmm. Talking about um, he should be ashamed of himself, mm. you know, because he he was the one in 2005 whenever Katrina happened. He talked he was telling um, George Bush that you don't care about black folks. Mm. Mm. But then you turn around him and Candace Owens, who she's in politics, wearing this white life matter shirt. Mm. Like, really? Why? I think Kanye West is very good at creating attention for himself. Mm -hmm. um, but at some point. Dignity got to come in for me. You know what I'm saying? I understand, you know, uh, making your money. I don't knock it. You know what I'm saying? I understand uh, creating the tension content. I don't knock it. But at some point, your dignity got to kick in for me. Yeah, yeah. It's just some shit that I just ain't going to do. You know what I'm right. saying? And, you know, that's, that's why I feel about that. You know what I'm saying? You know, to say... Shit, we could we could do that all day. White lives matter, black lives matter, mixed lives matter. You know what I'm saying? Like we could do that all day, but I think he's just a master of um creating attention for himself for his own agenda. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think we don't know what his agenda is, but he do. Because nobody can do anything to him because a bunch of people are like okay let's boycott it let's not buy this they still gonna buy it the same thing they said with Michael Jordan a lot of people didn't like about Michael Jordan with a lot of things the way how he treat black folks right but they still as soon as them Jordans come out they, they still front line and center buying these shoes yeah that's one that's one problem we don't have we don't really stick together the way we should no nah, right. you know what I'm saying big problem because it's some shit we can make happen if we would stick together but we, we just don't we don't you know we, what I'm saying don't. like I mean, it's gonna be a little. This gonna be a little old, but you know, it's like when the Kaepernick shit, right? Mm -hmm. That Sunday after that, I'm watching TV. Like I know these niggas ain't gonna. I know they ain't gonna stand for this shit. Nah, mm -hmm. not today. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't give a fuck if they stand up next week, but today we, ain't, you know what I'm saying? We on our we we kneeling today. I know we gonna kneel today. And they didn't. Man, I seen niggas with their hand on their heart, tears coming out their eyes. I said, "Wow, bro." Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's 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 the way it be. That was, that was. I was like, if we can't if we can't stick together on that, 
You know what I'm saying? The only time they came together and they admitted, recently was George the Floyd. George Floyd. That's what made them admit to the Kaepernick stuff that it was it was something to stand on. And did we really stick together on it? Not really. That was did influence really? on our culture. You know what I'm saying? We get so excited about small, small wins. You know what I'm saying? Like, had that been reversed the other way around, the penalty, it wouldn't even been it wouldn't even been no fucking trial. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. You'd have went straight from if you'd have made it to the uh, to yeah, the police. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You'd have no, went they, straight from goddamn. They killed you. You'd have went straight from your knee on his neck to goddamn the back of the penitentiary. Oh no, yeah, mm-hmm. straight yeah. to the back. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up. So you know we we stick together and we you know we we still do crazy shit. We go burn our own shit up and then you know be mad when we try to get a bid. You gotta go way across town. Nigga, That's burn the stuff up. But it goes both ways because <laughs> but even with, but even with Boosie talking about it. Um, um, yes, he, he he's the first one to stand up, stand up and talk about it. But is he talking about it just to get, you know, people to look his way as well? Boosie? Yeah. Because he's saying his black card needs to be revoked. But she, who, whose black card is going to be revoked? I mean, I, I done met Boosie a couple mm-hmm. times. You know, Boosie lose, you know, lose out a nigga. Right. Boos a pretty straight shooter. You know what okay. I'm saying? He, he, he pretty straight shooter on, on how he feels. I agree with mm. that. Whether he wrong or not, he don't give a fuck. So he not doing it for the cloud? He nah, not doing nah. it for Nah, nah. He really feel like that. You know okay. what I'm saying? He really feel he like that. He might have just went live or anything and just you spoke got, on you it. You got some people, you got some people that just really don't give a fuck. That's that's how they feel. They mm-hmm. just happen to be celebrities. Or we, we view them as celebrities. But Boos still feel like he's an everyday gangster street nigga. They who just say when he feel away, he say what he want to say. Right. You know and, what I'm saying? And, and doing a great job marketing himself on the internet. Yeah. yeah. Doing yeah. a great job. And it job. just happens to be real controversial when he say what he say. You but know what I'm saying? He just so, said it back in the day if it wasn't no cameras. Is if it wasn't no camera on, I still believe that, yeah, Boosie. Lil Boosie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big Boosie, I just, I just had to ask that question I because like, I know some people probably think that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I just had to I think, try to I think that, that um, whether or not the camera was on or not, that's... That's really how he feel, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And how you know. do you feel about all these damn bloggers and interviewers and people in the Dallas market? Because there's probably more here than anywhere else. Yeah, I feel like we need a light on it's the city. A lot of you them. gotta, you gotta keep in mind, bro. Dallas been Dallas for a long time, but we never really used all the resources we had. Yeah, but when you talk about bloggers, it's just like we interviewed um, journalists earlier, and then we just interviewed LD. And when you talk about, you know, bloggers, you have a lot of people saying, well, yeah, you have a lot of bloggers, but some of them not reporting the facts that they just doing it for clout. Right. You have. And when you talk about talk to a journalist, there's like, yeah, you have to do your research. You have to verify where this is coming from. You can't just put any anything out there because it used to be that way. That was before clickbait mm-hmm. and all that type mm-hmm. of shit. Nobody gives a damn no more. You really think these niggas consider themselves journalists? <laughs> <laughs> they, don't. they don't. But you know what I'm saying? These niggas ain't journalists at all. But are these bloggers helping or are they hurting? It depends on how you look at it. They hustling. You know what I'm saying? It depends on how you look at you it. You know what I'm saying? If, doing? If, 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 if you report something on me, you know what I'm saying, and you got, let's just say, let's just say how, how celebrity numbers, right? You got. 400 some thousand followers, right? And you a blogger, you know what I'm saying? And I'm over here with my little old 2,000 followers and you say some shit about me, whether it be true or false, and you at me in it. You just threw me a oop, you know what I'm saying? You really just threw me a lob. So it depends on how the person that you speaking on play it, you know what I'm saying? But if they're talking on a celebrity, like what happened with Cardi B and um, what's her name, something K, that blogger. Well, you yeah, know, Cardi know B ended up suing her right. and winning that, but then um, and now she's trying to get. She her, moved to Africa, didn't she? She moved to Africa. <laughs> she got the with her family, her. but she's Smart. trying to get you know no. Somebody on your ass. Let me go. <laughs> but she's trying to shit. get her wages, um, <laughs> where she's still going to get paid from her wages, you right. know, Because the amount of money she just sued her for, she probably ain't got no money. Well, you supposed to you supposed to know that's a possibility as well. That's the flip side of not being a motherfucking journalist. <laughs> but a journalist Cardi know B, that shit can happen, so they ain't gonna do that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But now that she's that bloggers are getting sued for stuff like that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It should because a lot of bloggers are loosely saying whatever. And right. since Cardi B did that and she won that, mm-hmm. I would think that that would put some sort of fear in some bloggers. Be like, man, 
You know, no. I, let me watch what I'm saying because I can be sued. Bunch of these niggas cap though. I, I heard I, well, one nigga came on here said he was gonna sue somebody. Bunch I bet he ain't niggas, caring about that no more. Bunch of these niggas ain't worried about getting sued because they ain't got shit. They got sued for. They got to move to Africa with up. Sue for what? You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't got nothing but the cutlass and grandma house. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, sue a nigga for what? Some of these niggas ain't scared to get sued because they already against the odds. Right. They already trying to get there. So sue me for what? Come I on. want you to you tell me. Cut this. I'll get another when the taxes come. Tell me about uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Carlos Miller. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he, was, he was on the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. he he's supposed, like, yeah. when he spoke, he, he spoke on your boy, your homeboy. Right. The Faison, Faison Love. love. Because right. Faison said when you was here that day. Yeah. I know residuals. <laughs> been you said this is strong. No Whoa, I mean, hey, every time hey, you play, every play time you play, play that you play clip, boy, boy that old like, damn. Ooh. Shit, bro said that shit strong in the mud. You didn't see it that, that day, did you? You didn't see that, that, that day, did you? Because I wasn't, you know, yeah, you I'm playing the back. Yeah, yeah. I ain't see his eyes. Oh, that nigga. When you play the clip back, that nigga say, ah, no. <laughs> Damn, bro said that shit strong, no. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you ain't getting no residuals for that shit. Yeah, yeah what he so, said. What, what he, he said, said that, Carlos say, from where? You should ask him from where. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, basically, I say I did from all the movies or whatnot. But when you see the old, here you go, the same question, the same question. <laughs> I break it down every time the same. <laughs> when you see the old uh, Will Farrow, Faison Love, uh, give me some more names, baby. Uh, uh, Jamie Foxx, Eddie Murphy. Uh -huh. uh, 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 what's that boy from down there in uh, the Martin one? Martin Lawrence. Not the white boy, the one y'all love so much. The white boy. Jim from, Carrey? No, nah, he from here somewhere in Texas. They seen him at a drive thru. Uh, McConaughey, what's that? Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. Uh -huh. Matthew McConaughey. Uh -huh. All of these boys right here. This is a whole network of Hollywood. Boom. Right, you right. call them, you drive up to their house, it's gated. You can believe that. Faith doesn't send me pictures. He's in a gated community. Right. He's living good. Right. He got a house here. He got one in L.A. He got mm -hmm. one over here. Mm -hmm. He's got it. Mm -hmm. Now, let's shift the shift the needle. <laughs> you got yeah, let's go. Country Wayne over here. Right. You see him every day jumping out of big cars, big houses, mm -hmm. living his life. They mm -hmm. say it's reported that he's every month. A bad month is three hundred fifty k a month. Mm -hmm. A good month is four hundred and some thousand per his people that been on the show. Right. Four hundred and eighty thousand a month. Mm -hmm. Every month. Mm -hmm. And they say, okay, well, you know, uh, my boy say, that, that uh, that's some other shit. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I'm just trying to understand, what do you think about these two worlds? It's opportunity in both. Of course, I always say that. But what do how do you feel about <laughs> these two worlds and uh, the Desi Banks? The, uh, it's a bunch of them. Yeah. The Bubba Dubs. Uh, Bubba Dubs. The, uh, uh, oh, Bubba man, that's my team, boy. His team, my people. We Why just I talked have, today. You know, Drew. Why I, have, my yeah. Yeah, I just my talked people. to him. He called me right for this. Yeah. Uh, that's my guy, man. I told him to go in on something we was talking about. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm just, I'm trans. Just, these niggas is trash. Oh, yeah, that's my trans. boy. They use my boy word everywhere. You <laughs> niggas better give that nigga his props, too. Nah, Don't really. use his word without giving him his props. Right, right, the nigga right. came up with something special. All you rich niggas out here. <laughs> it's a bunch of you niggas rich. And hey, y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all got all kind of sports center channels yeah. there. Give my boy his Props. Right, right, right. But anyway, those guys mm -hmm. versus the new versus the old. Mm -hmm. How do you feel this can be? I, I talk about it because I know it's something that need to be talked about. Right. I'm going to continue to do it because I know if I talk about it, they going to what? They, they going to have to figure it out. Yeah, right, It's right. in your face. Right. Quit walking around these comedy shows, not speaking to one another, acting like you're better than each other because both of y'all got a little money, nigga. Yeah. That's the way I see it. I'm, I, am I, I tripping? I, I see where you're going. Am I tripping, though? I see, I see the smoke you're going. <laughs> I see the smoke so you're going. what do you going. think about it? Oh, uh, my opinion, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it all the way 100. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no other way to be. I ain't going against bro for shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That just is what it is. That my nigga. Yeah, See, yeah. I grew up like like that. Okay. Nigga, hey. Whatever you shit, do, you win. shit it. pop off. Nigga, we just fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we figure out what happened when we get to the house. <laughs> and then I tell you. You wrong. Yeah, you got my shit swollen up because you on some <laughs> dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? But whatever you say. But whatever. We doing that's what it is. You know what I'm man, saying? I ain't gonna lie, man. Like I said, man, big dog, I 
I wanted that nigga on this show, and I'm gonna get him back. I always tell him that. Mm -hmm, we yeah. hang out. That's my guy. He gave me opportunity to be around, and me and my wife blessed us. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just saying, man. You know, dope, man. Country Wayne, them same thing. Invite us down. Mm -hmm. Take you know, give us, show us the red carpet uh, uh, effect, right? Give mm -hmm. us, show us, hey, love, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, just show. Y'all ain't got to do nothing. Just come, you know, just love, bro. I think it's something to where they both get money. But you got crazy understand. money. Ain't no, ain't no difference in, in in me than Mike Bliss. When Bliss came on here, yeah, he talked strongly behind behind Country, behind Wayne. Country Wayne for sure. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going against Country Wayne for shit at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't going against Faison for shit. <laughs> Faison love fuck. is you not playing. Fuck. I don't give a fuck who getting more money. I don't give a fuck about that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, because to me. I ain't count no nigga pockets. I'm count mine. You know what I'm saying? Already. I ain't worried about if a nigga getting 400000 or 300000 I don't give a fuck about, about that. that. You know what I'm saying? All I know is, nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah. You ain't you know going to get face on at nah, all. At all. So because, whatever he say, that's what it is. See, I'm saying like this. I'm not finna get on no platform and say, bro, wrong. Nah. I ain't finna never say that. No. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna never say... Them niggas didn't get on here and say, yeah, Faisal is right. No, they but, didn't. No, and they ain't fan too. No, they ain't, because that's who they riding and with. And guess what? Ain't fan too. <laughs> <laughs> no. When I met you, you was with Faisal, no. and you stopped down that no. day. That's how, that's how I met him. I ain't fan too. No, you know what I'm saying? Now, my personal opinion, my personal opinions, check this out. This a, is this a quick resolve to me you know what I'm saying because I like to try to get to the bottom of shit quick you yeah, know what I'm saying I yeah. get irritated real fast so you, by the time you start telling me your problem I'm already trying to figure, figure out, out this shit because yeah. I'm trying to move on you Got know what I'm saying thing before thing. I get irritated so this how I see it right let's take bro let's take Faison and all of his caliber. Let's say the and comedians. Got a lot of Let's stuff. say the, the Eddie Griffins, the Eddie Murphys. You know what I'm saying? Let's say all the great comedians, right? You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that the comedians said that themselves. I'm just saying theoretically speaking, right? right? You knew how to play basketball, right? Mm -hmm. I came up after you. Okay. You see a nigga smooth, right? Yeah, yeah. But you know something I don't know. How about you take me to the gym, nigga, and show me how to make my crossover a little bit more yeah, crossover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Show me how to make my jumper a little bit more jumpy. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Show me. So, how about the the, the old OG. comedians, the OGs? We supposed to be big homies and shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's say the OGs who feel like what the youngsters are lacking, show them how to be you. But do you think the young niggas? niggas. And hold on, hold on, versa. hold on. It's a double sided <laughs> coin. There you go. Young niggas, Show them if y'all feel like mm -hmm. y'all know the new way and y'all exactly. know the easier way to get money and they way may be outdated, show the nigga. Mm -hmm. Show him. We ain't got to... If you making... If you making 400000 mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I'm making 200000 mm -hmm. nigga, show me how to make your two hundred. That's right. I'll show you how to make my 400000 now we both making six hundred. Don't oh, that make more that sense make, that than make two lot. and four? That makes I'd sense. rather have a six hundred. That's real. Then the two and the four hundred. I like that's that. That's how my brain. No, thinks. I like that. No, I, I that think you know I saying? think that's the way it is. I, I that's think that's the way it should be. It should that's be. how it should it's, be. All you're saying is come, come together. That's how it would. You know, one, our one. people got it. Right. Listen, man, I love my people, bro. I already know. Like I say, when the question came up, and it, I didn't even see nothing in that. What we talked about that day, didn't see nothing. But at the end of the day, the people, the people spoke when they seen it. They seen the issue as well. But I can tell you right now, man, strong. These brothers coming up. The entrepreneur phase I've been up. Right. These niggas coming up. I'm loving every. Yeah, bit me of too. It, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I'm loving I'd every lying, bit of it. I'd be lying if I say I don't I'm watch Desert Bank skits. I'd be lying if I say I don't watch Country Wayne skits. I, but I'd also be lying to you if I tell you that I don't enjoy Dave Chappelle's comedy. What? You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'd be lying to you if I tell you, you know what I'm saying, that I don't enjoy Kevin Hart's comedy. You know what I'm saying? Or his movies or whatever. You know what I'm saying? No, that's real. Like, when you in your leisure time, you just looking to be entertained. Yeah. You're not really thinking about the shit that they talking about. You know what I'm saying? In the green room and shit. You don't give a fuck about that. All you want to do is get you a drink, roll you some shit, or whatever you do to, you know, relax. 
and be entertained. You know what I'm saying? So if you got this piece of the game and I got this piece of the game, shit, come on, man. Um, you said you have a son and he's older now. But I, got two, I got two, two boys. boys. When mm -hmm. they were younger, did they ever play football? Nah, my son. Uh, my son played. He ran track. He play, he played football up into high school. Then he ran track. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you used to go watch him when he played football? I was at everything. Okay. So He'll tell you. he was. I was at everything. I never, I'm a, see, listen, I wasn't no baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? I was a father. You understand what I'm saying? That's real. Mm -hmm. I was at every parent-teacher conference. I was at every football practice. I was at every football game. I was at every track meet. I was at everything. You that, know what I'm saying? That's, that's where it posted. Because be. I understood that me and his mom wasn't together, so I had to put forth that extra effort. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I did that. I was, she, even even though he didn't live with me, I saw him, you know, three times a week and at least once on the weekends. That's why my music career kind of set back, back because, because of your kids. I couldn't really, shit, goddamn, how I'm gonna be on the road chasing this rap mm -hmm. shit, you know what I'm saying? And I got, I got my little nigga, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's and real. It's like, which one is more important? You prioritize Rap only gonna last so yeah. long. You see niggas, they rap and they be the shit and then they get old and they ain't shit. And they I, have a I bad relationship with their kids sometimes. And I ain't trying to explain, you know, to my son that me having five years of being the shit was more important than a lifetime relationship right. with you. You I dig what I'm that. saying? That's real. I wasn't feeling that shit. But when you used to go to these games, how, like, did were you one to get heated against the other people, the other team, whenever nah. you saw... My beef was always with him. Okay. Dad, how I do? You ain't, you ain't do shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you saw, because nah, that's you real. saw where yeah, you I saw know where you going. You know yeah, you talking no, about that shooting, right? Yeah, that shooting that happened um, somewhere out by DeSoto. Yeah. Yeah. Did you you heard about yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, how do that happen at a how do kid's get to that point? football game? No, the only, only reason I brought that up is because I'm looking at the news and I see where another... Um, Altercation? Ex NFL player, um, is a coach is in Arizona. He ended up in an altercation, and this was at a twelve and under football team. Mm -hmm. The game ended, and they lined up to shake hands, and somebody said something that he didn't like, and he went in, and they started fighting and mm -hmm. arguing and whatever. And right now, it's going to be it, it luckily nobody. More. Luckily, nobody got killed, but that must happen very often. Let me tell you something. I live my life like this. You never know how disrespect gonna come out. I don't give a fuck where you at. You never know how disrespect is gonna carry out. You know what I'm saying? That's real. You don't never know. Anger, anger will go there. You don't never know. You know what I'm saying? So I keep that in mind that today might be the day that you got some shit going on with your old lady. You just lost your job. Your, your kids saying you ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? You, been, you can't kick your drug habit. And today be the day that you like, you know what? The next person say something to me, fuck it. I'm going to kill him and I'm gonna me. Crash no out. matter if you're all around all these children, that's going to affect I'm gonna them. crash out. Then here I come on the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And there you go. There you, you never go. know how. You never know how disrespect is going to play out. That's why I always leave with respect first. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know how disrespect going to play out. One thing I, A lot of times niggas end up laid out. This is how no, I always, no, no, I started, I, real. Real. I started leading my life is the fact that you can't control what nobody else says and does. The only person you can control is yourself. Right. So even when disrespect comes, you can control how you react to something. You can't control how the other person come at you. Yeah. You can control how you respond to that to have a different outcome. But sometimes, sometimes, and in a perfect world, <laughs> Everybody don't think you, you really think niggas run around with that mentality. No, I, but I got older, and that's, that's where that came though. from. That's, that's where you really came think from niggas though. is running yeah, around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Saying I'm gonna control myself. No. That's the one thing that niggas ain't got niggas control. control. It's very obvious. Nigga, you you ain't never been talking to somebody and realized this motherfucker ain't really all the way there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And he functioning in the world every day like a regular nigga. Think about that. Think mm -hmm. about how many people is riding around right now functioning in the world like they regular people. And they fucked up. No, that's On real. medication and all that. They fucked They don't even need no medication. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> real. That's real. Up. I done been talking to people before and been like, this nigga really a little off. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And then the more I keep talking to him, I'm like, this nigga really way off. And he functioning in the world like a normal motherfucker. 
I got a question for you. Man. Uh, my boy High Boy West came on here. This guy this went crazy for me. Uh he said he, he had outside. a he, he outside. Okay. Uh he said uh uh a hundred thousand. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. He, he say he say he say a hundred thousand. He say uh he said, man, by the time I get, you know, I'm drugging and thugging. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm out here. He said, by the time I, you know what I'm saying, go get a car and go do this, man, that money going to be gone in a week, man. Yeah. Yeah. D you being a musician, an artist, mm -hmm. and understanding the way this whole game, you know, works, have studied the game. Mm -hmm. What did you think when he said that? How did you, how did you what did you think? First thoughts. Man, salute to Wes. You hear what I'm saying? I love Wes. You Listen, know what I'm man. I love that young I, I, nigga, man. Let, let me say this. I fuck with that song with him in two times. I love that. that. I was bumping that shit when I pulled up. Real oh, yeah? talk. That's nah, real. real talk. I was bumping that shit when I pulled up. But um, I'm going to say this. And he going to feel me. You know what I'm saying? When I say this, real nigga understand. $100,000 ain't no money to a nigga that ain't never had no money. That's real. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. $100,000 ain't no money to a nigga that ain't never had no money. He he got too much shit that he need. He wasn't lying, you know what I'm saying? He got too much shit that he need. If you ain't got no car, you know what I'm saying, you behind on child support, you been staying with your mama, she been telling you she tired of you drinking the Kool-Aid, you know what I'm saying? You been borrowing niggas clothes and shit to go out with them. No, $100,000 ain't no money when you living like that, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you can run through it quick because by the time you take care of all the shit you need, shit, you back fucked up. Yeah, that's real. That's real. 100000 ain't no money, man. 100000 ain't no money to a nigga that ain't never had no money. Now, if a nigga used to have it money, you know what I'm saying? If a nigga used to have it money, you know what I'm saying? Then you know. And he go, he go, he go what throw me off about that, though. He go what throw me off about the... The hundred thousand ain't no money to niggas, right? You know what I'm saying? At one point in our lives, none of us had that kind of money. But everybody say they hustlers. Everybody claim they big pack flippers. You know what I'm saying? Everybody claim they big scammers. You know what I'm saying? Everybody claim that they know how to do all this shit. You've been telling you've been telling these women you can flip their taxes and shit all these years. Then that ain't nothing but two, three thousand. So now you mean to say if you get a hundred thousand, you we can't flip it? What the what the fuck going on? You know what I'm saying? No. Make that make sense for me. So you broke on your ass, and you can take a girl taxes and flip it, two three thousand. But a nigga give you a hundred thousand dollars, and you can't flip it. Something wrong with your flipper? To me, you know what I, I'm no, saying? No, no, no. I, I, I think it's a I think it's an excitement. It's a rush. Like, think Man. about it. When a nigga give you something and you already know some more coming and you got opportunity and nigga say, you know, nigga been really hyped up about signing a deal the whole time in his mind, right. his heart. Right. Nigga, I'm finna sign. Nigga, what? Gucci? What? Niggas right. get the paper. What a pen, nigga. Right. Gucci flew in the, and you know what I'm saying? Them flew it in. You got it. <laughs> but, but not only that, I'm thinking... Who hardly ever gets a hundred thousand dollars one time? Right, you right. Yeah, you might have had a hundred thousand dollars pass through your hands. Right. for all the work that you've been doing just, over but a period of time. It to him that day but let's get had that nothing. much money at one time. That's what I say. If you ain't never had no money, it's overwhelming for you. Because yeah. if you a nigga, let's say, let's just real talk. If you out here taking care of your business in the world, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. And like I said, no discredit because I know bro a real nigga. I want to make sure we get no, that right. understood. He but, is. You know but, what I'm saying. But you got to realize you're talking about a guy that's. 27 did right. 11 years in right, prison right, at, the, right, at right. the age of 27 he's done 11 years of his life locked right. up so understand what I'm saying this gonna make all the sense in the world when I say this if you were 27 year old who got a car already who got a place to live already who's already you already established and you got let's just say 40,000 50,000 in the bank right when you get the hundred thousand, it ain't gonna blow your mind because you already used to having shit. You already, you already got your life set up. So the money is just going to enhance what you already got already. going on. Right? Or if you're a nigga that been 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 uh, hustling and you done had eighty and a hundred thousand all the time, and you already been doing that, when right. you give me a hundred thousand, I'm gonna be like, nigga, where where the other at? Nigga, I'm, we gotta go get some more. I'm finna go get some more. That's all it do. But again, if you give it to somebody, you know what I'm saying, 
who got all these things that he need, like he stated. By the time I went and got me a car, by the time I went and did this, by the time I went and did that, yeah. It ain't no money. Just think about how, how much your livelihood costs, bro. But like it's real, not real even time. like you just needed it at the same time. Just the same thing like when people get income tax. The first thing they do is go buy a new car, buy this, buy that. It's not always, okay, I'm going to go buy me a, I just got $10,000 for my income tax. I'm going to go buy, find me a $1,000 car that can take me from A to B. Oh, no, I'm going to show out. I'm going to get spend $8,000, only that's, have $2,000 That's the left. same mentality I'm talking about. Most of the people who end up in those situations who getting 8000 10000 they ain't used to having them. Right. That's a lot of money to them. You but when do you get used to it? These people who get income tax get it every single year. And they keep doing the same <laughs> dumb shit every single year. <laughs> <laughs> Man, hey, top three artists of all time, dead or alive. You know how I do any, it. Any genre. Any genre. Oh, Number man. one. Pimp C. Epcot. That's my favorite nah, rapper of all time. he just said that because he know you like nah, Pimp C. Nah, nah, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Stop playing. Let me tell you why. Why? Don't be Pimp mad. Because Pimp C spoke for the South. Right? <laughs> Who he sound like? For the South. That's why me and this nigga alone so Pimp C good. spoke for the South, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? Nobody was, everybody wanted to be politically correct, but when the East Coast got ready to say what they wanted to say. They didn't give a fuck about how niggas down south felt about they shit. Them niggas can't rap. Them niggas country. Them niggas whatever, whatever. Pimp said, man, fuck y'all them fun ass, you know, them little bit ass houses, them fun ass cars and shit. Damn, Pimp! You know what I'm saying? Did you get to meet him? I didn't. Me neither. I, didn't. I met Bun, you know what I'm saying? Me like too. I say, I met Boat, but nah, mm -hmm. I didn't get I done to, seen him on the show, but him. I ain't never get to talk to him. I seen him perform. Me like, too. The closest thing I got to do was see him perform. Oh, okay. Me uh, too. But, Number two. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Pop. Tupac was the realest. Pac. Yeah. Pac was Pac would have been number one, but he was West Side. <laughs> you rapping that nigga South. territory you know like his boy, man. Me and this nigga, we going shopping together. You know what I'm saying? We better be kicking it. You gonna be mad? I, I, I fuck with Pac. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But it just. We okay, who's your number three? That's my boy right there, man. The show came in and showed out. Number three, man. Number Ooh. three. That's a hard one. Number it, three. Damn. Uh, Scarface. Why Damn, I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Because the whole time I'm just thinking, I'm like, he going to say Scarface. I knew it. Scarface. I was like, who I can be? In my mind, it. when you were saying, I'm like, who can beat that nigga in a verse? Who can yeah, beat that nigga in a verse? Scarface. Ain't nobody can. Because I, I knew you weren't going to go with a traditional that like, everybody be saying, no, no hell Michael no, Jackson. Hell no. He he everybody be saying you. Michael Jackson. Yeah, nigga, that was a hard top three. Face. Probably one of the hardest ones face. that we ever had. Man, face, bro. No, nah, no. The way you articulated it. Yeah. No, nah, I ain't no nigga came in. These niggas <laughs> <laughs> that nigga came in here and gave us a hardcore top three. That what that what this show is about. Yeah, the yeah. top three Just because was, his top three is like your top three. It don't, was don't the go dopest there. top three that I've heard. There's <laughs> been a lot of niggas in here. You know? Nah, for I, real. I've been having to say what? What? Man? Yeah. Did they? You know out of all saying? day, show came over and showed out. Yeah, man. That nigga That's come and told us about the South. That nigga from the South, he yeah. just told you, gave you history lesson. From the South, and the nigga man. And the nigga stomped down. Don't come down here thinking nothing weak. You get like, sent back the wrong way. I like Pac Passion. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He, ain't, I mean, Pac didn't give a fuck if it was 100 niggas. Nigga, I said what I said. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, how that's I feel. Real. And I like that about Pimp, too. He wouldn't bite his tongue. I'm trying shit. to hear it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real, I like, a, I like solid aggressive. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, it is what it is. And I mean, as far as, as far as music, body of work to come from the 90s, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? All the way up to how how Face did it. I mean, who who else? I mean, who else? You know, what you gonna say? I mean, Big J? Mm -hmm. you know, that's Wayne? It. You know the funny thing, uh, you know What's how it? we were talking about earlier about um, people suing people, yeah. defamation of character and how the bloggers and whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would think that it, it, the bloggers are the ones who mainly get this. Well, why did I just see that Trump is um, suing CNN for a billion dollars for def defamation of yeah. character? Yeah, I mean, but see, Trump been a different type of nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that was coming. <laughs> he not been a you know, with hey, Trump been a different type like, of nigga. He ain't your wow. average like president. Like CNN, who's Trump supposed to be who's supposed to be journalists who you know have all their ducks in a row and stuff like that. They watch what they say and do and all of that, and he's suing them. 
Wow. Man, let me tell you something. When you got the kind of money, you know what I'm saying, that Trump got. You think he bored? You don't give a damn. Nah, I don't, I don't think I would be bored with that kind of paper. You got to realize how old Trump is, too. He not tripping, man. Yeah. He really I, doing that for his persona to stay out there like that, but he really back somewhere with a robe on kicked that. And he'll thing. show you that <laughs> I can, I think, I think too, he'll show you that I can make you shut the fuck up if I mm -hmm. want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think, play with yeah. me. Because yeah. the, don't get me wrong, like, the president, that, that was just power. He ain't, it wasn't about the money. Well, nothing they could mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't about the money. That was just, man, let me tell you, a toxic combination. When you put money and, and power, power together, I don't give a fuck who you give it to. That's a dangerous motherfucker, man. Don't never forget that. Man, mm -hmm. I hope we did anyway. you justice today, man. You know what I'm saying? Did we do you justice? You did me justice, man. Man, I sure am glad you came. Now you got to come back and do some co-hosting. We, we was trying to set it up. Trying to set it but up. But we going to get there. We ain't we there gonna, yet. We going to get there because get there. show is, you see, he supposed to be a co-host. You know, I get bring people in. <laughs> he damn show can come, you know. <laughs> nah, you, you and, and let me say this, you know what I'm saying? From from the time that I met both of y'all, you know what I'm saying? I always, I, you, you came to me the way you came to me, man made me go and try and do what I done. Wow. And, you know, coming over the first time and just seeing how the setup was and, you know, how y'all was going about, you know, representing y'all selves. Yeah, yeah. Because that's that's got a lot to do yeah. with everything. How somebody represent they self yeah. say a lot about they, how they brand going to be. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So the way y'all was representing y'all self and how y'all believed in y'all selves enough to not take the first answer to keep going to that door open. Yeah, yeah. Man, most people don't do that. They don't do that. Most dude. people don't do that. And that's why they be mad, sitting around mad when they see somebody else moving, but you took the first note. No, I, you know I, what I, I'm I God put you no in my life, answer. show. You took the first yeah, note, so. Thank you so much, man. Man, I appreciate y'all for having me. You know what I'm saying? No, man, we get, it ain't over, nigga. It, we, we coming back, nigga. Like, <laughs> like nigga, nah. next time you gonna be sitting right there, nigga. Nah, and we gonna real. have us a guest, nigga. It's nah, probably gonna real. be, I wonder who I wanna sit you in here with. Sit me in here with somebody, it man. Be, it, you, Hopefully it's phase on. I love to get phase on here and have a good time just talking to us. Bro, be back soon. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, yeah. Bro, right, be we, back soon. You know what? It could happen. And not only that, not just him. Uh, man, anybody that I get that I feel like I want to get some, you know, because what I like to do is talk about the music. Bro. And who better to talk about the music with than you, man, man bro? You know what I'm and, talking and about? You know what's crazy? Even the way, you know the, music. the way you carry that yourself, know the, right? music. the way yeah. you carry yourself. That's how I even got around, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's how real. I even got around here. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and and for me, that that mean a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? Man, you know uh, the homie Prophet. Okay, you know what I'm saying one okay. of the, one of the homies. Faison coming to the city. Say, bro, I need you. I need you. Stay on it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Just whatever you need, stay on it. Yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. You got to be a certain type of person representing yourself. Like I'm telling you, you got to be a certain type of person representing yourself for somebody to say, hey, Make let me put call. this person with you. I ain't right. got to worry about what he going to do, how he going to move. I know how he going to move. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You got to, you got to represent, love, your, you got to represent yourself Man, away. I just thank you know God that I got to meet you, bro. I thank God that we got to have this time together. I, we going to get in here and talk about this music again. For sure. Uh, if it's not with Faison, I seen you, was you rapping you that day? You be with a lot of no, people. I seen I you rapping, though. People. I seen you rapping. You know rapping. what I'm saying? I'm a move and groove. No, I seen you. You know what I'm saying? You might not know who I am, but I can make you feel who I am. My Who's master? the biggest? Sorry, baby. Go ahead. No, I want to know about this rap he did in the truck that day with Faison. Oh, with Faison that day? Man, we was we was, we was was going to the studio that night, and I was just, you know what I'm saying, running some shit by him. And uh, I rapped it just to him. That nigga said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Run, run, run that shit back, nigga. I'm going to record this shit right now. You know what I'm saying? And you know that's that's all it was. Believe it or not, bro, bro would call me and just run ideas for my benefit. Wow, you understand what I'm saying? That's why I say, man, salute, salute, Country Wayne. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Salute, Desi Banks. Salute everybody that got their opinion. But at the end of the day, Country Wayne ain't calling my phone already for my benefit. That's real. You understand what I'm saying? So I can't I can't go against that. You know what I'm saying? No, no, and no. that just that just what it no, is. No, no, we, we, man, hell, he took me out and bought me a damn meal the other day. Hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's so. buying me in too, sent me some pictures and stuff. <laughs> we doing pretty good, so, man. You know, me that's... and Faison doing pretty good. Niggas don't realize it, but me and him, hey. The funniest good thing dude, is man. every time something go down, people don't know me and these people talking, man. We I talk. <laughs> We, we talking, you know what I'm saying? We, every time something My happens, wife said hey, this nigga crazy. Check it out, check it out. <laughs> bro, hit me. What's up, bro? 
Man, call that nigga. Yeah. Yeah. And you know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. Man, I love the relationship we done built, bro. Nah, I real. love it because it's so real. He can't be fake. This the way this nigga is. Nah, I ain't never, is. That nigga straight up giving you, he just like me. You get what you hit. So as this nigga do it, he can't hold it back. It's yeah. who he is. He can't hold his tongue. That's a camera on. He going to say what he, he gonna say. He going to say what he say. He going to say and you what gonna he going to have to deal with you that, man. So other than Faison, who is the biggest person that you've been around? The biggest person I probably met in yeah. my lifetime. Mm -hmm. Biggest person I met. And biggest to you, actually. That blew me back. Yeah. Mess you up when you was in that room. That you may have even built a relationship with. Faison don't count because you and him cool. Nah, nah. Yeah. The biggest person I probably met that I could just think of off the top of my head was probably Ronald Isley. Mm. Man, that nigga heavy, ain't he? You know what I'm saying? Just, man, watching him do what he do and still perform. And he... Uh, Older, oh nigga, with him, with a swag, young sweet out, thing. You feel what I'm saying? Young, he got a, man, the man got him a young sweet uh -huh. thing. You hear me? Man, he ain't lost his step. Him I, young. Love, I love, I love to see the OGs who don't lose their step, step at all. You know all. what I'm saying? He's still all. gray beard, half slick, mm -hmm. man. kicking it, flies a motherfucker. You know, you don't know what you know a phase of a nigga gonna, gonna be. You know, like you, you thinking the nigga might fall off from the R. Kelly yeah, to this point, yeah, from the, before that to his brother and him having a good talk. You yeah. like, okay, this nigga done reinvented himself. Yeah. The beard, everything That's changed. Why I love, I love the nigga me come out with the cane, and say, the nigga bro. still can sing his butt off, bro. Fly as a motherfucker, you know. Don't what I'm wear saying? that white. That nigga gonna get clean on y'all, man. When I when I met him, I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I think besides that, if you had to put Ronald Isley and Charlie Wilson to get like side by side verses, oh, you think it's, it's Ronald? Why Isley. Ronald? Because Isley I, I I know the. Don't get me wrong, Charlie Isley Cool. But, I love me some Charlie Wilson. Yeah, but you the music, you, everybody you, love Charlie. Nah, love we love Charlie, Charlie, but I'm just telling and you. Both of them, their style is like impeccable. Yeah, they, yeah, they, for they sure. got for swag. Sure. That but, nigga Isley you know, got a hell of a, man, that nigga got a caliber. Isley older than, man, for, yeah. he's older, right? For yeah. somebody, you got to think, man, my mama then was listening to the Isley <laughs> Brothers and this nigga still doing his shit. It's hard, how too. How many motherfuckers is doing that? How many, how many people? It's still jamming from clean up time when you was a kid to now. To right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what well, I'm saying? Like, right, yeah, yeah you throw him on right now, you gonna out jam you. With some of his old songs. Mm -hmm. Who doing that? Mm -hmm. I can't think of nobody. Off. Like, even and if I tried, I can't think of everybody nobody. Still outside, of running Spencer, outside, outside of running Spencer, which he's an older cat. Other than maybe. But, but um, listen, but listen. He's not as old other than still. All I'm trying to say is you ain't heard nobody with that sound. No, other no. than other than and he, and he just you know had the same music, but other than Frank Bev, Frank Bev, come on man, yeah, they still performing. What? Yeah, I thought about them when you said. Yeah, I heard. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like other performing. than that, but man, we better get out of here, man. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you hey, so man. much for coming Appreciate on the show, it, man. We Thank love you, man. Shout man, out. Show. Can I kick some shots? Come on, out, let's go. Well, well, I, can, I can niggas get a hold of you, hey, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, let's make sure we get into yeah. that. Now. You know what I'm saying, man. My Instagram guys give show. You know what I'm saying. Guys Give Show. Ain't no no underscores, no nothing. Just straight up Guys Give Show. That's G-O-D-S-G-I-F-T-S-H-O -S on Instagram. Uh, man, salute, man, from where I'm from. All my, all my north side Louisiana niggas, we, we serious about that. We, we serious about that boot. And all my, all my, um, everybody who ever took us some time to help create me, you know what I'm saying, as, as a man and a brand. You understand what I'm saying? I appreciate you know what I'm saying? The, the Ray Charles is I appreciate the the George Lopez is just like I appreciate the grade diggers and you know what I'm saying, my my uncles and my my big homies and you know what I'm saying? The Faison's, you know what I'm saying, the Ride D's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. These like my big brothers. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I appreciate everybody who played a part in making me a help make me a better man and a better brand. You know what man. I'm saying? And you just did that for man, me. Man, we for the kill these niggas. <laughs> we gonna get them every time. You know what I'm saying? Top three artists of all time, this nigga finna get a golden plate. <laughs> these niggas, these niggas really ain't just came in here and named no stomp downs like that. You know the what I'm saying? The hardest top three that you heard thus far. <laughs> uh, man, check it, man. Hey, man, thank you for coming on the show. I we love you, bro. bro. Show it, you did your thing, man. Appreciate We're going to do it, it again and again and again, and nigga. Again, check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. And we out.